Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Safe to say it's been a crazy past couple of days in the world of Call of Duty, from updates to season four's reveal to the full-on announcements of Black Ops 6. We've had a lot going on, and especially when it pertains to Black Ops 6 in specific, we've gotten some very interesting information over the past 24 hours or so. Of course, the full reveal, the announcement of it being titled Black Ops 6 and all the teasers for it have started to surface over the past couple of days. I got sent a beeper or a pager that's going to apparently give me intel over the coming days and weeks potentially as to some other teasers taking place. So I'll keep an eye on that. And obviously if anything major happens, I'll be sure to keep you guys in the loop. But that said, while there is a lot of hype for Black Ops 6 and it's like, okay, Treyarch's back, you know, interesting marketing for sure. We have seen some news surface that is a little bit more concerning uh, for a handful of reasons that we'll dive into, but it's not all bad news. There is also some other news that surfaced that is very promising at the same time. So we kind of got a little bit of everything today. We got some good news. We've got some bad news. That said, let's dive into, I want to start with the good news first, personally, because that's just kind of how I roll. So this has been now posted by several different people reportedly working on Black Ops 6. Charlie Intel reports this as well. Some Treyarch devs, who are obviously the lead devs for this game working on Black Ops 6 have tweeted that they've been playtesting Black Ops 6 now for over two years. Now, here's the thing. This is what's the wild perspective of this game and why I think the bar is probably going to be set higher than it's ever been for this title. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, our current COD obviously, it was created in 16 months from, you know, start to finish, 16 month time frame. Incredibly short. Now, all things considered, the game is very impressive and the content pipeline that we've seen since post-launch and how the game functions, I would say is very impressive for having that short of a dev time in comparison to Modern Warfare 2, uh, which took three years to develop. We've had various different devs times for Vanguard and Cold War, MW 2019 was three year development, but the fact that now just alone by itself, Black Ops 6 has been being play tested longer than MW3 took to develop should sort of speak for itself i would say that in and of itself is a remarkable statement sort of uh you know putting pressure on treyarch but also adding to the hype as we know this game has been in development since 2020 it's going to drop later on this year so this will be the first ever four year developed cod four years of dev time has never happened before for any call of duty title in history so that's going to be very significant in and of itself this game is going to have very minimal excuses for launching with a, a huge assortment of bugs for launching unpolished for launching with different uh, glitches and other problems that we've seen in recent years those should not exist simply because of the time allotted to create this game and the fact that it's been being play tested for over two years now so that to me does spark some hope and also spark some hype. Hey, the expectations for this game should be high and there's reasons for that that are now solidified in dev time and play test time. Not to mention, we're also probably going to see a beta, maybe an alpha for this game, who knows, to give even more feedback into launch, which in theory should make things smoother. That's not always the case. Things happen and it could launch buggy and it could launch glitchy and that would be a massive failure in my opinion. But this is definitely a, a positive takeaway, I would say for sure, when it comes to, uh, you know, heading into the Black Ops 6 year. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There is some more concerning information that has surfaced in regards to Black Ops 6 that I want to dive into as well. And as we do so, if you enjoy this video, do me a favor, drop a like on it. It is always really appreciated. And of course, when it comes to all things Black Ops 6 related and really everything going on in COD, this is your one-stop shop to make sure you are up to date with all the information you need to know. So feel free to hit that subscribe button to make sure you never miss another video so initially here there's been a lot of question a lot of concern i guess is valid uh for the availability of black ops 6 and this is what charlie intel initially reported saying for those asking black ops 6 will be available on playstation xbox and pc that's to be expected. It's not confirmed whether it'll be on last gen, which is PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And keep in mind, these are old, old consoles at this point. We're closer to the new consoles launching. Like there was a whole report that uh, COD 2026, Infinity Ward's next title, presumably could be launching as a launch title on the next Xbox console. So we're not all that far off of new consoles dropping. Uh, there's been no confirmation, at least foreshadowing here up until in a few minutes of this game's availability on last gen or 
Nintendo Switch, because keep in mind, Xbox did sign a 10 year deal to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation, but they also want to branch out to Nintendo. Now that's not saying it's gonna be the full version of Black Ops 6 that we'd have on PC and on console available on Nintendo Switch, or if it'll be more so mimicking maybe Warzone Mobile or something of that uh, nature. That's sort of to be seen and to be determined whenever that does officially get announced. And that's certainly a work in progress, I would imagine. But this was the expected availability here. We do now, however, have some information on its last gen availability. Hey everyone, quick little announcement. Gamer Advantage is currently running a Memorial Day sale from now all the way through May 31st. And with this, everything on the site is going to be discounted by 25% off, which is already a crazy good deal. But I got an even better one for you. Code Immortal actually stacks on top of that to get you 35% off everything on the site. So that is the absolute best discount you can get on anything from Gamer Advantage. Of course, you guys see me rocking my Horizon frames every single day. I love these things. I swear by them. And long all the other gamer advantage products they got plenty of different frame options they do prescription or regular lenses so they got everyone covered if you want to pick up a pair for yourself maybe a friend a loved one whatever the case may be throw in code immortal take advantage of that increased discount from now all the way through the 31st and the link for that will be down in the description below if you're interested so this information ended up surfacing brace yourselves because quite frankly this is not the news i wanted to hear and it's probably not the news most of you wanted to hear either new GameStop has the listings for Black Ops 6 pre-orders now, and it mentions a PlayStation 4 version. Looks like Black Ops 6 will be on last gen still. So someone over on Reddit was able to actually find a picture of this where it lists some of the pre-orders from GameStop for it. You can see you can pre-order it on Xbox Series X, on PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. Oddly enough, there's no mention of it for Xbox One, which is kind of strange, like maybe Microsoft doesn't care to do that for Xbox One anymore since they do have a new console coming out or whatever the deal is there. But the PlayStation 4 pre-order simply existing there would indicate that yes, Black Ops 6 is still being developed for the last generation consoles. Now, why the concern for this? Why is this bad news? Well, unfortunately, when you are developing a game, well, yes, clearly their priority is current gen and getting the most out of modern tech for PC and Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5. They have to have the game playable on last gen if they're going to develop it for last gen, which means that in several areas of the game, specifics are not really something you could get into because you can't really narrow it down. But in a more broad sense, areas of the game are going to have to be limited. They're going to have to be dumbed down to still allow the game to be playable and have the experience be somewhat enjoyable on last gen. Now, I do not expect the game to look fantastic if it drops on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. I really don't expect it to run all that smoothly. I imagine you're going to have a lot of texture issues and rendering bugs, and it's just going to be very awkward and very clunky because of how old that tech is now versus what the game's being developed on now. But that limitation that is being set in place because they have to have the game running on last gen means that even the current gen experience, even the PC experience is going to be somewhat sort of limited or stonewalled or halted to a certain extent, because if you go, you know, put it into overdrive, so it's going to be extra good on Xbox Series X or extra good on PC, that might cause it to break completely on a last gen console because that tech just can't keep up. Quite frankly, I was expecting Modern Warfare 3 to be the last time we saw a Call of Duty on last gen, again, because we're approaching the time in which we're going to see announcements and leaks and reveals for the next tier of consoles, that this news is definitely surprising, but also still pretty disappointing. So we're going to have to see how this plays out. If this is maybe just a printing mistake on GameStop side and uh, you know on the June 9th showcase and direct event for Black Ops 6, we might get more information on this or maybe why there's no mention of anything for Xbox One, but there is PlayStation 4. It's definitely a developing situation, but this being the preliminary news that's surfacing from this game's availability is concerning to say the least. So hopefully, you know, things change and things are still smooth across the board for all parties, but this is definitely a bit of a red flag, at least in my opinion. That said though, that is gonna wrap things up for this video. If you enjoyed, do me a favor, drop a like. It is always really appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, you wanna guarantee that every single day of the week, really every day, twice daily, pretty much, you are up to date with everything going on in Call of Duty. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you later. Peace out.